Hey, good morning and welcome back. And what's our question today? Would God actually command the forces of Babylon to attack Jerusalem? Would he actually do that? Our reading is in Jeremiah 34, and we're at verse 18 through 22. And I will give the men who have transgressed my covenant, who have not performed the words of the covenant which they made before me, when they cut the calf in two and passed between the parts of it, the princes of Judah, the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs, the priests, and all the people of the land who passed between the parts of the calf, I will give them into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those who seek their life. Their dead bodies shall be for meat for the birds of the heaven and the beasts of the earth. And I will give Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his princes into the hand of their enemies, into the hand of those who seek their life, and into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which has gone back from you. Behold, I will command, says the Lord, and cause them to return to this city. They will fight against it and take it and burn it with fire, and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without inhabitant. And what can you say after what they've done? These last two mornings, three mornings, we've looked at this. If God does nothing after they've treated him and his covenant with so much contempt, he would actually be giving them more spiritual, putting them at, at greater risk spiritually. Sometimes you have to act or else you lose the authority, you lose the influence that you do have. And so they've put the, God didn't put them in this position, they put themselves in this position. So God's going to have to act and he's going to have to act with uh, a degree of severity here. Now, surely the devils echoed ideas into their minds. You know, oh, there is no God. Don't worry, you won't be punished. You're just losing wealth for no reason. Just keep the Hebrew servants and slaves. Bring them back. Go get them. Surely those kind of things were. But, but they allowed themselves to think on them. They allowed themselves to entertain the idea that, well, the God of heaven is not going to hold us accountable for this decision. We made a covenant with nobody. Or either that or he's a God who really is just, he's just a big a big fat grandpa up there, he's not going to do anything to help us out, uh, inflict any kind of punishment upon us. He's just one of those kind of gracie, gracie, gracie type gods. So we get to do whatever we want, sin at will. It's not going to be a problem. But of course, as we can see, it will be a problem. It'll be a big problem. And it's their problem. They started it. They, they created it. So God promises to give the people who did this into the hands of their enemies. And he also brings up Zedekiah. Although Zedekiah is kind of a quiet person in this chapter, uh, he's still the king. And when you sit in the king's throne and you sit at the king's chair, you really have a moral responsibility. And Zedekiah is not doing anything to help his people. He's actually a part of all those corrupted institutions. The, the, even the royal institution is corrupted because Zedekiah is just going along with the current flavor. So what's the answer to our question? Well, he says here, I will command God. God says, I will command. I'm going to command. They're going to come. They're going to burn your city and so on. We reread it. So there's the answer. Would God do it? Yes. So let's pray. Your Father in heaven, we do not want you for our enemy. Uh, we cannot treat you as though you are non-existent or that you are indifferent to righteousness and unrighteousness, justice and injustice. Oh, please, Lord, Help us to not lose our pathway, but always to seek your will first. Thank you for being a prayer-hearing God, a moral God, a God who acts, even when sometimes you act in a way that is going to be very severe to us. It's because you love us that you chasten us so. Bless us, we pray, and help us in spite of ourselves, and we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. That's kind of an interesting thing to pray, isn't it? We ask for it. Uh, they asked for it, and... In the right way, we ask for it too. Give, may God give us his grace and be our guide in spite of our own crazy notions sometimes we get into. Would God uh, command them to come and attack Jerusalem, his own city? Yes, he would. And it, it happens right here. As you go into the world today, go with the spirit of the living God.